Hi, this is Al Martinez, the Barrio Chef. Guess what? We're going in to trace some of the best tacos in town. Tacos Calafia. If you follow me, we'll check it out. It must be good. When you step into either Tacos Galafia in Surprise or the original restaurant in Peoria, you can bet it will be packed. But guess what? It don't matter because these tacos are worth the wait. They're pretty f***ing good. My, my first time <laughs> eating here and they're pretty f***ing good. Um, I like the meat. It has a good flavor. Like she said, it's cooked really well. It has a good flavor. And then when you add the hot sauces, yeah. it's a one. Tacos Calafia founder Adolfo Torres says the restaurant business is in his blood. Um, came straight from the streets of Tijuana, Baja California. So that's where my parents used to have their um, their taqueria. They opened their first taqueria in the streets of Tijuana. Um, I was a kid at that time. I was a uh, eight, nine year old, uh, but helping them out. Um, weekends when I didn't have any school, they'll take me, help them out with the tacos. And that's, that's how I grew up with. So um, I fell in love with that with that business, with that, with the food. Um, and that's what we brought here in Arizona. Um, Peoria, now surprise, the Tijuana style taco, the authentic one. Three years ago, Torres decided to open his food truck. And once the word got out on the street how good his tacos were, it was time to open his first real restaurant in Peoria on 82nd West Thunderbird. We just came for a surprise and we had to check out the first restaurant we're all starting it's Saturday night and it is packed. What you like about it? Like, what's the salsa what is real salsa. It's not taste piccani. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, oh, just the cheese on the tortilla, the chata is good, yeah. the music's good. It's good. So it's all good, so really good vibes. Yeah. Awesome. What did you like about the tacos here? Yeah, as well, it tastes, it's authentic Mexican. Well, the food's really good, like the customer service is great. Um, I feel like also it's a very like family-friendly environment, yeah. which you can see there's a lot of family here tonight, big groups of people. I'm doing it on my own, it's been three years now. We did start it uh, with the food truck here in Peoria, Arizona. Um, that food truck was like an immediate success, so um, as soon as we opened, we started getting really, really busy where um, we outdid the food truck. Um, at that point, we had to decide, um, limit ourselves as far as the space, um, but um, or just go brick and mortar with the bigger place. So that's what we ended up doing. Um, we opened uh, our first brick and mortar in Peoria, Arizona. With the success of the first restaurant, a second Tacos Calafia is now open in surprise. Javier Galas, is the man who owns and operates this spot with the same great taste and service tacos Calafia is known for. Everything started in Tijuana. Uh, that's why our name, uh, it's Calafia. You know, Calafia is the buzz over in Tijuana. Um, it's the slang for buzz in Tijuana. So if you want to go take the buzz, you don't say, I'm going to go take the buzz. It's, I'm going to go take the Calafia to my tia's house. That's where we got our name. It's a slang for bus. I understand you have the best uh, carne adobada in town. Yep, as we like to call it, Al Pastor. Uh, the best adobada by New Times, Phoenix New Times Magazine. Uh, so technically, what what it is, is the authentic Al Pastor. You know Al Pastor can be done in a griddle. We don't want to do it in a griddle. We want to do it in a trompo, what we call a trompo, which is the gyro for everyone else. Uh, we cut it from there. We try to keep it as fresh as possible so it can get that street taste that we like. What makes this difference is uh, the salsa bar. We have an, an unlimited salsa bar, um, but the salsas are made freshly every day. We got three different types of salsas also right now. Of course, we got the green one, we got the mild red one, and we got the super and or extreme hot, which is the burgundy one. That one is the sacred rib it's the recipe that comes from uh, the family. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is our tortillas. Our tortillas are made fresh every day so technically if you come over here you'll see that we're making the tortillas as you order and the tortillas are basically just we call it still street size street size is a little one but it's just a little bigger than street size even though it's still called a street size so. as for the future of tacos calafia there's a new one on the way in tolleson 
and that will be a 99th and McDowell. But the formula for the success should stay the same. Stick to what you're good at, and that's making Tijuana style authentic tacos. Um, we want to stay authentic. We want to stay um, true to the um, to the taquerias in Mexico, the taqueria stand. So whenever we visit Mexico and we hit a taco stand, we're only gonna find tacos. We're only gonna find tacos, quesadillas, mulitas, um, and that's what we're sticking with. Um, we're not. We don't consider ourselves to be in a Mexican restaurant, so we don't do any other dishes. We get a lot. We do menudo, pozole, enchiladas. We don't do none of that. Um, it's 100% of tacos, just to. Um, stay authentic and true to our, our street scene.